Welcome back to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna repaint this nightstand and I'm gonna show you a brand new product. So this piece was painted using terra clay paint a little while ago and it's been sat for a long time and hasn't sold. So I'm gonna repaint it. And first I'm gonna start out by giving it a little sand because I did have some texture to my paint finish before so I'm going to get rid of that texture because I'm going for a slightly smoother sleeker finish if you've used your piece for any substantial amount of time you may want to give it a wipe down with Dixie Bell's white lightning just in case there's any products on the surface that might cause issues with the paint adhering the colour that I'm using is called Smoky Mountains and it's from Dixie Bell's Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint range which means it's got a built-in stain blocking primer and it also has a built-in top coat and can we just take a second to look at the coverage of this. So as you've noticed there's areas of my previously painted finish that have still got paint on them and there's areas that have been taken right back to wood. That's just how it came off and as long as it's smooth to touch you are fine to repaint over something that is already painted. I did the prep work on this piece, so I know that it was already stripped back to bare wood because it was a wax finished prior to me painting it the first time. So I know that I did the prep okay, and for that reason, I don't need to strip the terra clay paint, which is the pink color. I don't need to strip that right back. It's fine to go over the top of it. Like I say, as long as it's smooth to touch, there's no flaky areas, or if there are any areas of texture or anything, you can sand those smooth and you're fine to go straight over the top. As well as Silk All in One Mineral Paint having absolutely amazing coverage, as you can see here, and the built-in stain blocking primer and the top coat built-in, like I've mentioned before. It's also really good for outdoor projects because it's UV stable and it also has an anti-mildew ingredient in it, which again makes it really good for outdoor projects. As with most water-based products, it's got a 30-day cure time. After that, it becomes super durable and the built-in top coat means it's also able to be wiped clean. So as you can see, although this is covering in one coat, I am going to do two. And it's got quite a bit of detail on the front. And as you can see here, I'm just sanding a little bit of that detail away. And that's because it had a little bit of a paint drip. If you do get any unwanted texture in your paint and you are going for that super smooth finish, try not to agitate it too much when the paint is wet or try not to fix it when the paint is wet or trying to dry. Let it dry down completely get some sandpaper or a sanding sponge, sand it smooth and then recoat. because if you try and touch it up when the paint's trying to dry or when it's still wet, you're just going to create more texture. You're better off just leaving it to dry completely, sanding it smooth and then recoating as I'm doing here. So this is a brand new colour, but I'm also going to show you another brand new product from Dixie Bell. These are called water slide transfers and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to put it on. First I'm just going to trim a little bit of the side away because I just want to use the swirls on this particular pattern. The good thing about these is that they have the pattern printed on the back as well because you're going to need to flip these over to apply the transfer. They apply very similar to a temporary tattoo, if you've seen one of those, very, very similar. So all you need to do is peel the film off, flip the transfer over so the pattern side is down. This has got some really subtle metallic bits in it as well. And then the grey printed side is just basically an identical copy of the pattern so that means you can line it up exactly now these are water slide transfers which means they are activated by water so in my hand i've got a wet rag and i'm just going to apply that all over the back of the transfer 
So I just rubbed it to make sure all the edges had water applied to it and then I just let the cloth sit on the surface for a little while. I went away, tidied my workspace and just left it there for a couple of minutes and when I came back it had completely soaked into the backing of the transfer and it was ready to be removed. So all you need to do when you've made sure all the corners and the edges are stuck down is just pull the backing off and that leaves the transfer on your furniture. So the second piece is going to be applied exactly the same way. I'm going to flip it over so the transfer is face down and then the very clever printed part of the back of the paper is going to allow me to line that pattern up exactly. And then going to apply it in exactly the same way. I'm going to apply water to the back using a cloth. You don't want to saturate this. You don't want it dripping wet because your transfer is going to slide all over the place. You just want a decent damp rag. Microfiber cloths work really well because they hold a decent amount of moisture without dripping all over the place. Again, I just let it sit on the back of the transfer, went away for a few moments, came back and just checked it was transferred onto my piece. If you pull it up gently, you can just check it's ready. If it's not ready, you can just place it back down, apply your cloth for a few minutes more and it should be ready after that. These transfers can be sealed as normal transfers can. You can apply a clear coat over the top of them and that will just obviously add protection to the transfer if you wish. For the interior of the drawers, I changed it up slightly because the colour that they were was not going to work with the exterior. So I used Conch in the Silk Mineral Paint range, which is just going to contrast nicely against the dark exterior. Because I had some pretty pattern on the front of this piece, I just kind of wanted to add a little bit of dimension. So I'm using Best Dang Wax in Brown for shading. I'm going to apply it with a French tip brush just in the areas that I want to push back and add that sort of darker shaded area to. As you can see, I'm applying it quite liberally here and then with a rag, I'm just going to remove the excess. So this is just going to leave the wax sitting in all of the recessed carved out areas. And then to highlight the high areas, I'm going to use gilding wax in bronze. Gold would have looked good as well, but I do feel that bronze is more fitting with the transfer that I've applied on the sides. It's a little bit more subtle and it also works really well with this colour that I've applied on the front. So I'm just going to use my finger and this just gives a really soft finish. You can also use a brush if you want to apply this, if you want more of a kind of solid colour but I'm just going to use my finger for a kind of more kind of soft antiquey look. You'll notice you haven't seen much of my face or me talking directly to the camera in this piece like I normally do and that's because we're having building work done and it's very loud in the background. So here's a few close-ups of the finished piece. Make sure you are subscribed to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel and I will catch you next time. Bye!